I'm gonna show you how you can get bookshelves just like mine, invisible bookshelves, I DIY mine. I'm just answering this comment because it was the top comment about my bookshelves. Yeah, let's get started. Here's an overview. So here you can see it's floating and this is a naked bookshelf. So you get two five inch braces, screw them into the wall, mark it with a pencil so you know they're even. Get a book you don't care about, put the Velcro on the inside back cover. Put the corresponding velcro on the bottom side of both braces. You just place your book on top and attach the velcro. And to cover the braces, you just add more books. And yeah, it should look like it's floating. And this is a side view of my other shelves. I hope this helped. Okay, so since y'all's ecosystems are coming out kind of ugly, I'm gonna teach you how to make a cute one like mine. So firstly, you're gonna need a glass jar, a bottle, or something, and make sure it's empty. And then you're gonna want to pack dirt into it, um, like from the ground. Don't use potting mix because it'll float and make your water gross and murky. So then I add water to mine and then pour it back off just to get out all the little floating particles so that your water can be clear. Then you grab the pond plants, which is the most important part because there's like little animals on them or eggs. I really don't know. But put the plant in the bottle and don't drop the bottle because that'd be really fucking dumb. But that's how it should look. Um, fill it up with like pond water or rain water. There's probably enough animals on the first plant. But I decided to add more plants on top just for like good measure. Um, it's gonna look like shit at first, but if you let it sit for a little bit, it should really start clearing up. And the last most crucial step is keeping your ecosphere in a bright spot out of direct sunlight, because that's literally the only thing keeping the animals and plants alive. And that's it, animals should start popping up in your ecosphere in like a day or two. Frog ring! You can be the peanut butter to my jelly. You can be the butterflies I feel in my belly. You can be the captain and I can be your first mate. You can be the chills that I feel on our first date. You can be the hero and I can be a sidekick. Let's do the IKEA DIY mirror. You need 30 mirrors and 30 frames. First of all, unpack everything and put each mirror in a frame. Damn, I was so unmotivated to unpack 60 freaking pieces. At first I hammer nails into the wall but ended up sticking the frame. You want to see the result. Today I'm going to show you how I made this tote bag out of a rice bag. The first step is to cut out two panels for the front and back of your tote. Mine is going to have elephants in the front and nutrition facts in the back. I cut two 15 by 15 squares, then pinned and sewed all around the three edges of the bag with a straight stitch. I also overlock the edges just in case. Now I should have a little pocket and it's time to make the strap. So I'm cutting two 22 by 3 inch strips. So I made the straps by tucking the edges in and then folding it in half so it looks like this. I don't really know if that makes too much sense, but I'm just going to sew it all down with a straight stitch. Now that we have our straps, it's time to attach them to our bag. I folded the top edge down twice all around and then inserted the straps into the folded edge. They should be pointing down. Now that your bag should look like this, it's time to sew down this edge to secure the top hem of the bag and the straps. Finally, flip the bag inside out and secure the straps with a straight stitch so they are now pointing up. So here's the final product. Elephants on the front, nutrition facts in the back, and... This is what it looks like in action! Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this little hanging rainbow. So everything I use for this I just found laying around my house. So you need some rope, and some colorful string, and some glue. So the first step is to cut the rope. Ah! So you cut it like this, and then you're going to leave a little excess on the end. You're going to want like three or four of these, I'm doing three. And then you're going to take your string and start like wrapping it around. And then just leave this little part at the end. So this one is done, and now I'm going to do the other two. Here's number two and three. And I also added this little loop on the first one. And if you want, you can put beads on the loop like I did on this one, but I decided not to for this one. Here's the first two glued together, and here's all three of them glued together. And then you're just going to want to unravel the ends of the ropes. And here's what it looks like all finished. And I also made this little mini one, and I think I'm going to turn it into a keychain for my friend. And this one's probably going to go in my car when I get it. Tell me what you guys think of this DIY in the comment. Bye! Okay guys, so the last few days I've been obsessed with these temporary tattoos that you can make at home. So today I'm going to teach you how to make them. First you gotta pick a design. In this case, I want to do text. So I have to search up mirrored text to make this work. 
Once you find a website that's gonna flip your text, go ahead and put any text that you want. I chose it to say, help me hit 2 million followers. Hit that follow button, guys. Once you got it, copy and paste it into any Word document and hit that print button. Once it's printed, what you need to do is cut it out. And once it's cut out, what you're gonna need to use is any perfume or alcohol-based liquid. Spray the cutout piece with the alcohol-based liquid and let it chill in cool water for two to three minutes. After a couple minutes, take it out of the water and spray it with another coating of perfume. And finally, place on skin, apply pressure and dry, and soon enough, you'll have your own temporary tattoo. If this tutorial helped you, hit that like button and follow, cause I'm trying to hit that 2 mil baby! How you can make this using basic household items? Snip 28 small pieces. Cut to large pieces. Curve it using the containers. Loop using chopsticks. Curve the smaller pieces now too. Feed the moonstones onto the wire. Connect using pliers. Attach both ends and viola. Shout out to the one person who asked for this. That's my inspiration. Um, then I taped off a moon shape and spread this cockling around it. I don't know, I got it from Home Depot. And then um, I used a spatula because it's kind of like frosting. And then I took a sponge to make it moon texture. Nice welded around, I don't know. Then uh, took the tape off. Then I blended the edges with my finger. Um, because that's how it was in the original picture. Then I took a sponge again and cleaned up. Um, then I cleaned up more with some Windex wipes because it gets everywhere. Then my mom gave me this rock and I sprayed it in oil to make craters so it wouldn't stick. Then I pressed freshwater pearls into the cockling and that's how it turned out. It's pretty sick. Why did I just say sick? That's weird. Making a book page turkey. Punch out the heart. Swing them up. Hang them up and done.